The world's navigable airspace is divided into three dimensional segments, each of which is assigned to a specific class. Most nations adhere to the classification specified by the International Civil Aviation Organization and described below, though they might use only some of the classes defined below, and significantly alter the exact rules and requirements. Similarly, individual nations may also designate Special Use Airspace with further rules for reasons of national security or safety. Topic. Abbreviations used in this article Topic. ICAO definitions On March 12, 1990, ICAO adopted the current airspace classification scheme. The classes are fundamentally defined in terms of flight rules and interactions between aircraft and air traffic control ATC. Generally speaking, the ICAO airspaces allocate the responsibility for avoiding other aircraft, namely either to ATC if separation is provided or to the aircraft commander if not. Some key concepts are Separation, maintaining a specific minimum distance between an aircraft and another aircraft or terrain to avoid collisions, normally by requiring aircraft to fly at set levels or level bands, on set routes or in certain directions, or by controlling an aircraft's speed. Clearance, permission given by ATC for an aircraft to proceed under certain conditions contained within the clearance. Traffic information, information given by ATC on the position and, if known, intentions of other aircraft likely to pose a hazard to flight. Flight rules, aircraft can operate under visual flight rules VFR or instrument flight rules IFR. There is also an intermediate form, special visual flight rules SVFR. ICAO adopted classifications Note, these are the ICAO definitions. Country-specific adaptations such as two-way communications instead of clearance for Class C in the U.S. are discussed in the sections below. Class A, all operations must be conducted under IFR. All aircraft are subject to ATC clearance. All flights are separated from each other by ATC. Class B – Operations may be conducted under IFR, SVFR, or VFR. All aircraft are subject to ATC clearance. All flights are separated from each other by ATC. Class C – Operations may be conducted under IFR, SVFR, or VFR. All aircraft are subject to ATC clearance country-specific variations notwithstanding. Aircraft operating under IFR and SVFR are separated from each other and from flights operating under VFR, but VFR flights are not separated from each other. Flights operating under VFR are given traffic information in respect of other VFR flights. Class D – Operations may be conducted under IFR, SVFR, or VFR. All flights are subject to ATC clearance country-specific variations notwithstanding. Aircraft operating under IFR and SVFR are separated from each other, and are given traffic information in respect to VFR flights. Flights operating under VFR are given traffic information in respect of all other flights. Class E – Operations may be conducted under IFR, SVFR, or VFR. Aircraft operating under IFR and SVFR are separated from each other, and are subject to ATC clearance. Flights under VFR are not subject to ATC clearance. As far as is practical, traffic information is given to all flights in respect of VFR flights. Class F – Operations may be conducted under IFR or VFR. ATC separation will be provided, so far as practical, to aircraft operating under IFR. 
Traffic information may be given as far as is practical in respect of other flights. Class G – Operations may be conducted under IFR or VFR. ATC has no authority but VFR minimums are to be known by pilots. Traffic information may be given as far as is practical in respect of other flights, special airspace, these may limit pilot operation in certain areas. These consist of prohibited areas, restricted areas, warning areas, MOAs military operation areas, alert areas and controlled firing areas CFAs, all of which can be found on the flight charts. Classes AE are referred to as controlled airspace. Classes F and G are uncontrolled airspace. The table below provides an overview of the above classes, and the specifications for each. Use of airspace classes Each national aviation authority determines how it uses the ICAO classifications in its airspace design. In some countries, the rules are modified slightly to fit the airspace rules and air traffic services that existed before the ICAO standardization. Australia Australia has adopted a civil airspace system based on the United States National Airspace System NAS. Class A is used above FL-180 along the populated coastal areas, and above FL-245 elsewhere. Class B is not used. Class C is used in a 360 degrees funnel shape in the terminal control zones of the major international airports, extending up to the base of the Class A, generally at FL 180 over these airports. It also overlays Class D airspace at smaller airports. Class D is used for the terminal control zones of medium-sized airports, extending from the surface up to 2,500 feet (760 meters) AGL, depicted in MSL on a chart. Above this, Class C airspace is used, although generally only in a sector and not 360 degrees around the airport. Class E is used along the populated coastal areas, from 8,500 feet 2,590 meters to the base of the overlying Class A or Class C airspace. Class F is not used. Class G is used wherever other classes are not—almost always from the surface to the base of the overlying Class A, C, D or E airspace. Transition from GAAP to Class D Australia used to have a non-standard class of airspace for use at the capital city General Aviation Airports, called a General Aviation Airport Procedures Zone A control tower provided procedural clearances for all aircraft inside the zone. Additionally, any aircraft operating within 5 nmi (9.3 kilometers, 5.8 miles) of the zone must obtain a clearance. VFR aircraft arrive and depart using standard arrival and departure routes, while instrument arrival and departure procedures are published for IFR operations. During visual meteorological conditions (VMC), IFR aircraft are not provided with full IFR services. During instrument meteorological conditions IMC, or marginal VMC, VFR operations are restricted in order to facilitate full IFR service for IFR aircraft. As of 3 June 2010, all GAAP aerodromes were changed to Class D aerodromes, and the previous Class D procedures were changed. The new Class D procedures are similar to the FAA Class D procedures. VFR aircraft are no longer required to enter the airspace via set inbound, outbound points, however can be directed there by ATC. VFR and IFR aircraft now require taxi clearance in the «maneuvering area» of the aerodrome, but can still taxi within set apron areas without a clearance. 
IFR aircraft now receive slot times and the visibility requirements of special VFR are reduced from 3,000 m visibility to 1,600 m. Canada There are seven airspace classes in use in Canada letters A through G, but the letters do not always correspond with ICAO definitions. Denmark Class A is generally used above FL-195 Class B is not used Class C is used for busy terminal areas, namely Billund TMA and Copenhagen TMA. All airspace above FL-195 is also Class C. Class D is used for all control zones and most terminal areas. Class E is generally used for all airspace from 3,500 feet to FL-195, with the exception of TMAs and airspace over the North Sea. Class F is not used. Class G is used below 3,500 feet, except around controlled airports, and below FL-195 over the North Sea. Topic Estonia In Estonia, airspace is divided into only classes C, D and G. Class C is used for en route airspace, between FL-095 and FL-660. Class D is used for the Amari Center, and Tartu TMA and Center, during operational hours. Class G is used below FL-095, in the Kurasor, Parnu, and Kardla FIZs, and Tartu TMA and Center, outside of operational hours. <laughs> Germany In Germany, classes A and B are not used at all. Class C is used for airspace above flight level FL 100 or FL 130 near the Alps up to FL 660. Airspace is divided into lower airspace below FL 245 and upper airspace above FL 245. Class A is not used. Class B is not used. Class C is used for controlled zones above and around airports and for airspace above FL-100 or FL-130 near the Alps up to FL-660. Class D is used for controlled zones, or above and around airspace Class C designated zones where CVFR is not necessary. Class E is used for airspace between usually 2,500 feet (760 meters) AGL around airports 1,000 feet (300 meters) or 1,700 feet (520 meters) AGL and FL 100. Class F is not used. Class G is used below 2,500 feet (760 meters) AGL around airports below 1,000 feet (300 meters) AGL, then rises via a step at 1,700 feet (520 meters) to 2,500 feet (760 meters) AGL. IFR flights in Class G are not allowed in Germany except for arrivals and departures in Radio Mandatory Zones around uncontrolled airfields with IFR procedures. <inaudible> <inaudible> Iraq In Iraq, the Flight Information Regions is known as Baghdad FIR. It is classified into Class A, D, E and G airspace. Class B, C and F airspace are not used in the Baghdad FIR. Air traffic services are provided in all controlled airspace, by the controlling ATC unit, based on an ATS surveillance system supplemented by procedural non-ATS surveillance system procedures or MRU where authorized based on procedural non-ATC surveillance system procedures and supplemented by ATC surveillance system where possible. Class A is established from FL-235 FL-460 throughout the whole Baghdad fur. Class B is not used. Class C is not used. 
Class D is established in conjunction with airports that have operating control towers. Class E is established at Baghdad, Basra, Kirkuk, and Mosul TMAs. Class E airspace is also established along the air route structure. Class F is not used. Class G is established for all areas that are not classified as A, D or E. This airspace is primarily used by military VFR aircraft. A common traffic advisory frequency CTAF is established for aircraft self-deconfliction. Italy Class A is used for Rome and Milan TMAs Class B is not used. Class C is used in all airspace above FL-195, and in military control zones above FL-195, to FL-460 excluded. Class D is used for controlled zones and other TMAs Class E is used for airways from MEL to FL-115. Class F is not used. Class G is used in all other airspaces, and above FL-460. Kenya Classes A, C, D, G are used in Kenyan airspace, alongside in classified military operation areas which are defined in restricted areas and prohibited areas, and are controlled by military air traffic control units. Class A is used above FL-145, except in areas where ground level exceeds FL-145, in which case Class A airspace exists above 1,500 feet 460 meters AGL and Class G below. Class C airspace is used exclusively in the Nairobi TMA and center. Class D airspace is used in all other aerodrome airspaces. Class G airspace exists everywhere else, particularly between ground level and 1,500 feet (460 meters) AGL. Topic: <inaudible> Lithuania. In Lithuania, classes A and B are generally not used at all. Classes C and D are used in the following areas of controlled airspace of the Republic of Lithuania. In control zones center. In terminal control areas TCA. In control area CTA. In upper control area UTA. Mauritius Classes A, C and G are used in Mauritius. Class A airspace exists within the entire Mauritius FIR flight information region, above FL-245. Class C airspace exists within 150 nautical miles of Mauritius, below FL-245 Mauritius TMA and center. Class G airspace exists in all other areas of the Mauritius FIR. Netherlands In the Netherlands, a relatively large part of the country is Class A airspace. Near Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, the airspace is almost completely built up with Class A. It starts at 1500 MSL, and ends at FL-195. Further away from Amsterdam and its airport Schiphol, Class A starts at a higher altitude. Class B is used a lot as well. Anywhere in the Netherlands, Class A airspace ends at FL-195 and changes into Class C. Most of the CTRs are Class D, some of them are Class C. Class F is the only class that cannot be found in the Dutch airspace. <laughs> New Zealand In New Zealand, classes B, E and F are not used at all. Class A is used for airspace above flight level FL 130. Class A is used above 13,000 feet or FL 130. 
Class B is not used. Class C is used for controlled zones above and around airports up to the overlying Class A. Class D is used for controlled zones around airports. Class E is not used. Class F is not used. Class G is used for all other airspace. Topic: Norway In Norway, airspace is divided into classes A, C, D and G. Class A is only used for Bodo OCA, FL-195 and up. Class C is used for controlled airspace. Class D is used for controlled airspace where C is not used. Class G is used elsewhere. G** is used in TIS and TIA where two-way radio communication is required during opening hours. Russia Russia adopted a modified version of ICAO airspace classification on November 1, 2010. The division into classes for the airspace of the Russian Federation was introduced for the first time in the history of Russia. The airspace above the territory of the Russian Federation is divided as follows Class A applies to airspace above and including 8,100 metres, the boundary between lower and upper airspace in Russia. All operations in Class A airspace must follow IFR and are separated from each other by ATC. Permanent two-way radio contact with ATC is required. Permission for using airspace is required except for the special cases listed in Clause 114 of the Federal Rules for using Russian airspace. Class B is not used. Class C airspace is defined below 8,100 meters (26,600 feet) and allows IFR and VFR operations. Both IFR and VFR operations are required to have permanent two-way radio contact with ATC. IFR flights are separated from each other and from VFR flights. VFR flights are separated from IFR flights and are provided traffic information about other VFR flights. Permission for using airspace is required except for the special cases listed in Clause 114 of the Federal Rules for using Russian airspace. Class D is not used. Class E is not used. Class F is not used. Class G airspace is defined wherever Class A and Class C airspaces are not defined. Class G airspace allows IFR and VFR operations. For altitudes less than 3,000 meters (9,800 feet), the speed must not exceed 450 kilometers per hour (280 miles per hour, 240 kn). Flights are provided with flight information service as requested. IFR flights are required to have permanent two-way radio contact with ATC. No separation is provided by ATC. No permission for using airspace is required. Airspace controlled by Russia outside the territory of Russia has different division into classes and includes redefined Class A and Class G, but no Class C airspace. Specific boundaries of airspaces are determined by the order of the Ministry of Transport of the Russian Federation No. 199 of September 15, 2010. Topic. Sweden In Sweden, airspace is divided into airspace Class C and G only. Class C is used for all controlled airspace. Class G is used elsewhere. <laughs> United Kingdom In addition the UK has a couple of special classes of airspace that do not fall within the ICAO classes. Aerodrome traffic zones are circular zones around an airport with a radius of 2 nmi or 2.5 nmi depending on runway length, extending from the surface to 2,000 feet 600 meters AAL above aerodrome level. 
Aircraft within an ATS must obey the instructions of the tower controller if present, or must make radio contact with the Aerodrome Flight Information Service Unit or Air – Ground Communication Service Unit for the aerodrome before entering the zone in the case of an uncontrolled airfield, or must obey ground signals if non-radio. Military Air Traffic Zones mats are zones around military air bases in Class G airspace. Military aircraft treat these as if they are controlled airspace. Civilian traffic are advised but not obliged to do the same, although they must respect the ATS contained within the MATS. A MATS usually consists of a circular zone with a radius of 5 nm, extending from the surface to 3,000 feet above aerodrome level. Stubs 4 nm wide and 5 nm in length, orientated with the aerodrome's main runway, extend on opposite sides of the central circle, extending from 1,000 feet m to 3,000 feet m AAL. <laughs> United States The U.S. adopted a slightly modified version of the ICAO system on September 16, 1993, when regions of airspace designated according to older classifications were converted entirely. The exceptions are some Terminal Radar Service Areas TRSA, which have special rules and still exist in a few places. With some exceptions, Class A airspace is applied to all airspace between 18,000 feet 5, meters and flight level FL 600 approximately 60,000 feet. Above FL 600, the airspace reverts to Class E. The transition altitude is also consistently 18,000 feet 5, meters everywhere. All operations in U.S. Class A airspace must be conducted under IFR. SVFR flight in Class A airspace is prohibited. Class B airspace is used to control the flow of traffic around major airports. The airspace is charted on a VFR sectional chart with a series of blue lines. Within these blue lines, the floor and the ceiling of the Class B airspace is defined. The lateral boundaries of Class B airspace are individually tailored to facilitate arriving and departing traffic operating under IFR. Class B airspace extends from the surface to generally 10,000 feet meters MSL. In Denver, Colorado and Salt Lake City, Utah, the ceiling is at 12,000 feet 4, meters MSL, while in Phoenix, Arizona, the ceiling is at 9,000 feet 3, meters MSL. Charts must be consulted for the most current floor and ceiling information. Aircraft must establish two-way radio communication with ATC and obtain a clearance to enter Class B airspace. All aircraft operating inside or within 30 nm of Class B airspace are required to have a transponder with Mode C. The 30 nm Mode C veil is denoted on VFR charts by a thin magenta line. VFR traffic must remain clear of clouds and maintain 3 sm of visibility while operating within Class B airspace. Class C airspace is used around airports with a moderate traffic level. Class D is used for smaller airports that have a control tower. The U.S. uses a modified version of the ICAO Class C and D airspace, where only radio contact with ATC rather than an ATC clearance is required for VFR operations. Other controlled airspace is designated as Class E, this includes a large part of the lower airspace. Class E airspace exists in many forms. It can serve as a surface-based extension to Class D airspace to accommodate IFR approach – departure procedure areas. Class E airspace can be designated to have a floor of 700 AGL or 1200 AGL, or a customized floor of any other altitude. Class E airspace exists above Class G surface areas from 14,500 MSL to 18,000 MSL. Federal airways from 1,200 AGL to 18,000 MSL within 4 miles 6 kilometers of the centerline of the airway is designated Class E airspace. 
Airspace at any altitude over FL 600 60,000 MSL the ceiling of Class A airspace is designated Class E airspace. The U.S. does not use ICAO Class F Class G uncontrolled airspace is mostly used for a small layer of airspace near the ground, but there are larger areas of Class G airspace in remote regions. Airspace classes and VFR Authorities use the ICAO definitions to derive additional rules for VFR cloud clearance, visibility, and equipment requirements. For example, consider Class E airspace. It is possible that an aircraft operating under VFR is not in communication with ATC, so it is imperative that its pilot be able to see and avoid other aircraft and vice versa. That includes IFR flights emerging from a cloud, so the VFR flight must keep a designated distance from the edges of clouds above, below, and laterally, and must maintain at least a designated visibility, to give the two aircraft time to observe and avoid each other. The low-level speed limit of 250 knots does not apply above 10,000 feet 3, meters, so the visibility requirements are higher. On the other hand, in Class B and Class C airspaces, separation is provided by ATC to all aircraft. In these situations the VFR pilot only needs to see where his, her own aircraft is going, so visibility requirements are less stringent, and there is no designated minimum distance from clouds. Similar considerations determine whether a VFR aircraft must use a two-way radio and or a transponder. Topic. Special use airspace Each national authority designates areas of special use airspace SUA, primarily for reasons of national security. This is not a separate classification from the ATC-based classes, each piece of SUA is contained in one or more zones of letter-classed airspace. SUAs range in restrictiveness, from areas where flight is always prohibited except to authorized aircraft, to areas that are not charted but are used by military for potentially hazardous operations in this case, the onus is on the military personnel to avoid conflict. Refer to the external links for more specific details. <laughs> 